If you don't feel like watching this video in its entirety, uh, it will be uploaded in an episode starting next week. And to the developer and any fans of this game watching right now, please don't take anything to heart that I say during my rage. All of my actual thoughts come out about halfway through the game and about near the end of the game. So please don't take anything I say during my rage to heart. Please enjoy this extra long video. Welcome to I, I Have No Idea What This Is. Welcome to Changed. Um, I have no idea what this is. Uh, this is a game that I've been seeing so many people make art for. I've seen so many people talk about this game, but it's just a little tiny indie game on Steam. So I have no idea what this game is. I have no idea what to expect. Apparently there's sexual content in the tag, so uh, I don't know what to expect from this game. But uh, I, I don't. I think it's kind of short, so I'm going to try and make it a point to beat this game in one session. And if it ends up being really long, I'll just break it down into episodes and, and upload them on my miscellaneous week. So if you don't want to watch a really long video, you can just watch them in episodes on uh, next, starting next week. So anyway, let's go. That was loud. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. This game is not, not up to, this game will not give player any hints. Please search every clue. It does have a tag of difficult as well. So, uh, someone said that you can't beat the game on easy mode. So I'm going to do normal. Normal mode is more challenging, but you are able to play through the entirety of the game starting now. I, I'm going to say this. I hate that. I really dislike that about video games, but whatever, whatever. Uh, try to stay hopeful. Is this going to be another stay determined kind of deal? All right. What am I? What am I? Yes. Your eyes sting under the intense light, but you still make an effort to open your eyes. My eyes are open. Take a look at the situation you're in. Through your hazy eyes, you discover that you're in a very unfamiliar room. Yes, it is unfamiliar. Your limbs feel weak. Your head is spinning. But the most gripping thing in your mind is that it feels like you haven't eaten anything in years. You possess nothing but a small pair of shorts. You don't even think they're originally yours. Obviously, you've been kidnapped. Your vague memories seem to align with this fact as well. You've been kidnapped by someone and they brought you here. You feel very confused, but you clearly understand that the first thing you do is escape from this room. Good idea. All right, you only have one goal for now. Let's begin. I got an achievement and it's Jap It's in Japanese. Wow, I'm, I move slow. Oh, okay, I can sprint. You didn't, you didn't find anything to open it. Okay. The contents are mainly air and paper. Air? Air and paper. It looks like the device controls a capsule, but it's broken. There's a lot of dust on top and no signs of use, so who turned it off? Maybe it turned itself off. The screen doesn't work. There's dust all over it. Well, god dang it. Full of pipes of wire. It's quite deep and dark inside. You can't fit through it. Of course. The heck? What? I don't know why that makes that noise. What's this clipboard? Who we'll put these notes here? Do not touch them. If you don't want it to be one of them, avoid them. I don't know the capsule password. I just hope you've awakened and read this. Be safe, survivor. Is he talking about something dangerous? The handwriting I know is rather messy, and from its content, it doesn't seem like that it's been written by your kidnappers either. You start hope, hoping it's just a bad TV show. Excuse me. There are more notes on the second page. It's clearly another person's handwriting. Please remember to dispose of the liquid waste and to clean up the sewer. Do not drop any sticky objects, samples, or chemicals on floor. Well, that seems to have failed. Especially the samples. Interesting. Dried unknown chemicals participate at the bottom of the test tubes. Uh, you're hungry as hell, but you're not nearly that desperate. Yeah. It says hold shift to... Thanks. Seriously, want to touch the shore? Because of your insatiable curiosity, you put a little bit of the odd liquid on your hand. And you instantly regret it. The liquid on your fingers start to spread. Your fingers begin melting and turning into the same bizarre material as the one pasted on the wall. You try to wipe it off, but it's too late. You realize that the other parts of your body also begin to transform like your finger. What? More and more of your body is melting like ice cream, but there's no pain. You can feel your internal organs somehow flowing like liquid inside your body. What the hell? Lots of the liquid is dropping off your body gradually. 
uh, all of all of it is part of your body. A massive liquid is dripping off from the upper part and then flows near your feet. Your body feels very strange. Is this a horror game? It feels like every part of your body is molding together, like you're made of rubber. Your body feels very light now. This transformation gradually stops. You begin to check yourself over. Is he smiling? You are a slime or a kind of latex creature now. You stretch your new body. It's much more flexible than before. Maybe this isn't so bad. And I'm dead. I uh, died. Experience one. All right. Oh, God dang it. All right. I need to go through this. Can I skip what it says? God dang it. God dang it. Come on. Noticing things. Okay. Can I save? How do I save? How do I save? I, 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 can I not save? P. Pause. A. Okay. I can't seem to save. Sweet. Awesome. Okay. Um, I'm just kind of tapping on everything. You looked inside. There's obviously no way you could climb in. However, you hear something that sounds like dragging and slipping around. You should probably step back a bit. Why? Well, there's a button here. Nothing happened. God dang it. So, note to self. D oh my god, what the heck? What? I just turned into some kind of anthropomorphic fox thing. What? Alright, gotta go through this again. Yep, I know. Come on. I get it. I know what's going on. I've gone through this twice now. Come on. All right. Um, I'm just kind of tapping Z on anything now. Nothing seems to be happening. God dang it. Um, yeah, let's not, god dang it, I stepped on it. Does that mean I'm going to turn now? Hollow tube that is slightly warm to the touch. You don't know what it's for. All right. Uh, you look inside of the storage capsule. It seems like you've been there for a long time. At the bottom, there's a small layer of liquid. You subconsciously think that it might be sweet. You must have drunk a lot of this when you were sleeping. All right, that's not weird. Um, locked. You didn't find anything to open it. Um, so shift to run. Like, so am I? Oh, uh, okay. I see what I'm supposed to I think I see what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to? There we go. There we go. What was that? <coughs> was it some kind of living milk pudding? Living milk pudding. Whatever it was, this place is clearly not safe anymore. It's not the best time to think about it too much. Yeah, probably not. All right, so can I check in now? Uh, upon closer inspection, there appears to be a button deep inside. You put your hand in the vent, carefully winding around wires and pipes inside. Finally, managed to push it. What did it do? What did it do? Did it open the door? Aha! It opened the door. Can I save now? The place is a mess. Seems it's been deserted for a long time. Where are the people who kidnapped you? It doesn't look like there are humans anywhere around this area. You shivered. You got a feeling that your troubles have only begun. Or maybe you're just cold. Let's focus on finding a way out first. Can I save? Saving would be really nice. Uh, you can put the password in this machine. It seems it's connected to the door on the right side of this corridor. 
Try to type the password. I don't know the password. Wrong password. Try to find a clue somewhere. Okay. Uh, a pile of excellent garbage. Excellent. <laughs> All right. A uh, corrugated box made out of corrugated cardboard. Sort of papers, blah, 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 and trash. Uh, I'm just kind of examining what's in here. Is this opens? Hello. Sunset shines over the collapsed buildings below. You're standing in a tall tower that you have never seen in any news report or book before. Strange place surrounded by ruins. Only this tower stands amongst the rubble. Where is this place? Staring down at the broken walls below, you are on the verge of panic. Are these the ruins of a city? Are you in the future? Somebody around that could help. You must be in the f the future. The future. The future. Created a box. B -b 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 okay. Yeah. Same thing. Uh, what about his note? You can use F12 to immediately go back to the main menu if you just want to reload your file quickly. Sometimes you might miss something you'd want to see. How do I save? That sure be nice to fucking know at this point. Is that the... Don't want to get too close to this broken cup. You aren't wearing shoes. Do I need to get shoes? <laughs> Is that what I need? Yeah, I need to get shoes. Okay, what about this? Pile of beautiful garbage. Why is it saying that? Uh, some report is written on this. The experiment failed again, so I locked the room. But this time it got so close that it almost blew up the entire building. I've manipulated the pattern of the uh, ceramic tiles on the floor. Bigger tiles are are the key. The password of the storage room is hidden across the floor. I saw there were rats inside the storage room, so we bought a... There's something above the balcony. It looks like a wild cat. But how would a wild cat be on top of the building like this? All new subjects aren't experimented on voluntarily. We have the last five subjects here. Sorry for them. To succeed to save us all, we need them. We need their sacrifice. Sacrifice a few lives. Preferable option would mean saving many, many others. What? Big tiles are the key. What? Since there's something on the balcony. What's on the balcony? Uh... Uh, I don't, I don't know. Big tiles are the key. I don't... I'm not sure how I would have figured that out, but 71421, so whatever. I have a walkthrough here that I'm going to only look at when I absolutely need it. Because I, feel, I, I do have a feeling this is going to be one of those games where I'm definitely going to need it. So I apologize if you guys want me to figure this stuff out for myself. But I suck at really complicated puzzles, I'll admit that. But I want to experience this game because so many people seem to love the ever-living hell out of it. So, oh my god. What? In. God. Hello, cat. Hi. Oh, I can't. Okay, I guess I can't get to you. Or is this a maze? What? What's going on? Oh, it's one of these things. I hope I. I hope I can't squeeze into the door. You're too weak to push this heavy. Okay, there we go. Um. Aha, there we go. That was that looked kind of weird. All right, hello, hi, Mr. Creepy. Fuck you, Mr. Cat. I don't like you, Mr. Cat. I wouldn't say it like that. Alright, so clearly I need to... Yeah. Oh, God! I don't even know how... How you're supposed to get through that. Fuck. 
All right, what's this, what's this panel over here do? A device that controls the door. You open it from the other side. Why would I do that? So wait, so it's open now? I, I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and not. Can I like get, nope. What am I supposed to do here? Is this all this game is going to be? Because if this is all the game is, I'm not, I shouldn't even fucking waste my time. Fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah, I don't give a shit about this guy who he is anymore. I don't give a shit about the story. He's nothing, not even decent clothing. Your legs are weak and tired, but you have no other choice. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep fucking going. Really? Oh, now, now you do. What? Oh, was I supposed to hold space? Okay, that still happens. Sugar desperately kicking and pushing on the ground. With all your efforts finally with the sick thing off your body. Sounds like better the pipe runs away. Great. Okay. Hello, note. They stopped fixing the vent pipe. Someone said they saw something moving inside of it. My friend told me an escaped sample. Okay, great. Okay. Great. Good. Gonna give to a dog. The heck was that? What the hell's happening with the dog? Whatever. It's it's beautiful. Not like this game. The kind of virus is super virus that has never been recorded before. This virus is a long a uh, long talent latent period and is spread through many different methods. It's also difficult to detect before it's too late. This virus has a long lap. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is our demise. The end of civilization, however, is so that we may be able to recover something. It's too dark to read what's written here. You could read everything else. You just can't read that. <laughs> really? It's just now starting? Oh my god. Wow, I am. I'm so happy that that was, I'm so happy that that was the intro. So what, can I expect more bullshit from this game? Is that, is that what it's saying? Is that, is that what it's getting me ready for? Bullshit? So that's what I feel like. There's a main electric switch behind this plate. If the power cuts off suddenly, Entire office elimination system will malfunction. If this happens, please fix it ASAP. Well, someone did, sure did a good job of that. Office rules coat the paper. You feel like your head will explode if you continue reading this. Well, this paper visibly states, do not run in this office. Do not run in this office. Why? What happened? Hey, <laughs> Manny. Hey, Manny. Hey, little guy. A sweeping robot. It appears to be fond of you. It's been staring at you constantly. Okay. Hi. I've tried to mix the genes of animal into human genes. I've tested many methods, but until now there hasn't been any effective way. I heard that social the social order on the other side of the globe has completely collapsed. We may have been carrying the virus for quite some time, but if we aren't human, then it won't affect us. Right. So this is a furry game, right? Alright, and also developer, I apologize. Just that part was all kind of, obviously this is some kind of trial and error game but still that part was that absolute bullshit like there no one to deny that what uh hi what is they don't seem to have noticed you yet try to sneak around them all right i can't breathe <laughs> i love that so don't make noise while the light's on right 
Well, people probably want to see the death, so let's, let's just go ahead and... Yeah. What was going on there? Some more photographs over here. Wait, can I be... These black latex creatures can't form crystalline lenses. Therefore, they are unable to see in the same way that most animals do. They mostly see by detecting motion and utilizing their auditory senses, so they can't see anything motionless. However, their recent activities demonstrate highly developed intelligence, which surprised me quite a bit. Fortunately, we have to destroy these failed samples as soon as possible. These samples are completely useless to our research goals. Wow. This is very weird to me. This is very weird. All right, did I actually was I accidentally moving when the that one saw me? It's a pen here, pen case or something. Okay. I heard the lights. So, what's this? The creature appeared. Creatures appear to have independent thought. For several experiments, we discovered that the thoughts and behaviors of tested people were greatly influenced by the creatures. Humans who have been assimilated or uh, paras parasitized may gain the immunity that we're looking for, but their minds have been permanently altered. They still appear to retain their memories and who they used to be, but they are no longer themselves. Their brains have fused with their parasites. So that's what happens when you experiment. So I'm guessing... Lights. Okay, I think I actually moved when the lights were still on. That might be why they all flocked to me. God dang it. God dang it. <sighs> I guess I could have went there. Got it. There's a mask over here. A mask. Do you want to pick it up? Is this a mistake? You shouldn't lift the mask. It's much lighter than you thought it would. Don't put it on. It is bright and translucent with no apparent flaws. Don't put it on. It's obviously connected to these creatures. Don't put it on. You stare at it curiously for a while. Then you are surprised by a strange sensation. Oh, God dang it. You didn't realize what this means. You try to throw the mask away. But you discover that it's glued to your hands. Great. At that moment, the mask started secreting gobs of la latex. Some of it went straight to your face. So this is, they're, they're, okay. This is a weird fetish. I, it's not a fetish of mine, but there's a fetish where it's like body morphing and humans morph into anthropomorphic animals through some weird latex thing. That's basically what this is. I don't know if they're using that as, I don't know if it's typically a fetish game, but that's what's going on. Uh, lots more latex poured, lots more latex poured out from the back of the mask, flowing over your body. It coats all over your skin, all of your skin with only a few seconds. It creeps over your body in an old, orderly fashion. Latex around your face begins to tighten, the mask pulls itself onto your face. You attempt to remove it, but your efforts are fruitless. This thing is stuck to your face, it's not part of you. You can only watch the two small holes on the mask. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a mask anymore, and your body feels surprisingly light. You run over your new body with your slimy hands. You feel very sticky. Your bones and internal organs have disappeared, replaced with the goo. You don't know if anything else has changed either. You turn your head, all the other creatures in the room are looking at you. What will you do now? Like electric shock, you can possibly feel a sense of unity. You walk over slowly and hug one of them tightly. Why is it a bad thing that I turn one of those things? It's, it, it seems like that's a good thing. Alright, well, I have to go through this again. I like how the entire walls are just... Look, there's another thing that I can examine over there. I guess I will, because... I know people are gonna want to What? What happened? There's a tiny little thing. What happened? I guess he saw me and he started moving? I guess? God dang it.
God dang it. I bl I am to blame for this. I am being impatient. This was not very well put together in terms of trying to be fast. You definitely can't be fast in this game, that's for damn sure. Not a game built for speed. Very, very obviously. Alright, so does he see me? Yes, he does. Oh my god. Okay, so the little ones slow me down. Which is bullshit, but whatever. Go, go, ha, 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 fuck you. Oh my god. Thank you. That guy's land, that guy's land next. His text will be hard. Taste, his task, taste will be hard, but please give a try. Headwriting's terrible and there's a lot of mistakes. Okay, yeah. I was wondering what that was all about. What's this? It's one of those things. All right. What? Oh, they turned into. S it looks dangerous, but it's actually solidified latex. Can't do anything currently. All right. Samples can alter your DNA by covering your body and breaking down your cells. Yes, we noticed that. The effect is too strong and transforming you into a liquid latex of its own consciousness. Makes you transform into monsters that contain animals. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we've we've acknowledged that. Hi. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, people want to see the death, so whatever. I'll just let it go. It's cute. Yes. Alright, so that's all that happens. I know that people probably want to see all the deaths, because there's probably a lot that can happen. Even if some are probably going to be kind of... out there. <laughs> As we've seen. Alright. Got it. Haha. Uh -huh. So hard and punched the head of the little creature. He flaps his wings and flies away. Wow. <laughs> Get the hell off me. <laughs> oh my god. These little flying guys look a bit strange. They aren't jumping on you. They seem to want to play with you instead. In addition, that you quickly notice that there's thick layers of latex on the floor restricting your movement. It seems that this strange place is their nest. see. Oh shit. Alright, I, I, I see what to do. This is a little bit, this is a little bit better. This is, hi. This is a little bit more manageable. This is definitely more manageable. Okay, I should, I should save after this cutscene here. Just so I don't have to go through it every time. This is definitely a lot more manageable. Got it. <laughs> Just punch its head. Punch his fucking face! <laughs> Alright, let's go save so I don't have to go through that every time. Better. Much better. Alright. I like this music too. This music's pretty good. Again, I apologize to the developer. I didn't mean to say anything bad. Obviously, he's made a great game. It's difficult. It's going to be difficult for me. But it's definitely something really fun. Ha -ha. I don't care about the paper. I'm just gonna go. Oh shit. This one's a little bit more difficult. Was there a save in there and I just didn't notice? I'm not sure. I have to go through the first one again. See, I like this better. This is... This is like... I didn't mind... Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm learning, I guess. 
That's basically what this is. I'm, I'm, le I'm learning. Oh God, okay, just get away. I don't know what the paper's all about. God dang it. Okay, so little stuff poking out of the ground for some reason stops you. No idea why, but it does. Cool. No idea why that stuff stops you. All right, I uh, gotta read through this again. Saying, oh, they, they wanna play with you. That's their nest. <laughs> Information that you already know that we're gonna tell you for the 5,000th time. <laughs> That's right. Bitch. God dang it. All right, I see what to do there. Come yeah, on. Let's hear that information that I've heard 500,000 times. Just hear it again. <laughs> it's their nest. They wanna play with you. We're gonna tell it to you again, even though you've heard it 500,000 fucking times. It's because I held the button down. Fuck. All right, I didn't know that holding down the button would allow them to move more while you're slipping and sliding, but apparently it does, so good. Get to hear this again. Third hundred time. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> God dang. Why isn't there a save in that second room? There better be a save in this third room. Cause I'm really sick and tired of here and they just want to play with you. This is their nest. Hard line da 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 da. Wow, I don't save here when enemies are too close. I am saving anyway, so fuck you. Whoa, hi there. Okay, so the diamonds turn me into what dragons or scalies, I guess. Oh, cool. God dang it. Well, at least I saved. I don't have to listen to that. This is their nest. La di da. Don't let there be a diamond down here. Oh, I chose right. Oh, God, did I choose right. Okay. Is there a boss at the end? Oh, my God. Hi. Alright, this is a boss. What? Fuck you too, giant dragon. Thing, whatever the heck that is. So I've been recording for almost an hour, but I've actually played only 15 minutes. Oh crap, I gotta go I gotta watch this every time now.
I love having to watch a cutscene every time. Rewatch a cutscene every time I die. Great. Yeah, I get it. Dragon. Cute. I get it. I don't fucking care. Can we progress with the game? I don't have to watch. I want to watch a cutscene that I've seen a thousand times! I've seen that cutscene probably 30 times now. I know. Yes, I've seen this cutscene already. Unlike the last, uh, unlike the others, I don't have to watch this cutscene 500 times. I can't believe I have to be careful of where I walk, even though I've already beaten the boss. I swear to God. Am I, am, I, am I passing a cutscene that I'm going to have to watch 500 times again? I don't really give a shit about the story anymore, honestly. I could really care less. I just won't be able to beat the game. I like, guess is that the way out, but I can't. Yeah, okay. So that's the way out, but I can't because I'm woozy. In the face of so many dangerous fears, you finally couldn't hold on any longer. Did I die? Can I finally stop this? You've gone through so many things in such a short period of time. You don't even have the strength to walk anymore. You wish you were dreaming, but you know that's a foolish hope. What happened outside? Is anyone alive? What can I do? Loneliness, fear, and panic engulf your heart. It might be good to sleep like this. You feel as if you're being embraced softly like a silken blanket. Again, I'm sorry, developer. This is not a this is not a bad game. And I think I even heard it's their first game. I don't mean to insult it so bad, but again, if you die retry button don't make it actually this is rpg maker so you probably didn't have a choice you shouldn't have made it so that every time you restart a part you don't have to watch the cutscene every time that is the worst possible thing ever <sighs> whatever i passed it i'm done did you see anything to eat? no i don't see oh there's bread Fruit. You notice flakes of black latex on it. Did they put it here? Fruit is sour, but it's much better than feeling hungry. You're not sure why, but you're homesick. Wipe your eyes and finish off the fruit. After eating the fruit, you feel a lot better. You pick up the remaining seeds and get up. It's time to go. Do I have an do I have an item slot? What was that? Why does every door have to be locked? Yeah, exactly. Why does every door have to be locked? Am I outside now? Oh god, is there gonna be another cat chase? Is that what- is that seriously what's about to happen? Hi. Are you bad or good? Really? The birds. The birds even do it. Alright. Alright. Even the birds. I'm definitely saving after I'm done with this part. I have to walk, watch through that again. Uh, you can put the password in this machine. It's not gonna try to type the password. I don't know the password. Maybe some clues around here. 
and genetics, pile of books on zoology, pile of books on virology. Do they all say that mind food at the moment? It's not important. Box full of pamphlets. Okay, so there's, there's absolutely nothing. There's a giant tree. A potted tree. The branches and leaves are lu uh, luxuriant and the trunk is quite thick. Alright. Get the hell away from me, bird. Yeah. God. Okay, apparently the code is 3002. I don't. Oh, okay, I got that. I just got it. Get the hell away from me, bird. Get the hell away from me, bird. Stupid fucking bird. All right. Let's try and save. Three, zero, zero, two. God dang it. Something opened. Yes, it did. Thank God. What's in here now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What are those? What are those shadows? Let me guess. If I, if I step under one, something, something gets me, right? That's just what I'm assuming. Well, let's just go ahead and step under one, shall we? Yeah, one falls on me. Ooh, it's red and striped now. Okay. And there's a little robot. There's a little sweeping, sweeping robot. Can he get rid of this stuff? That sure would be nice. Hey, little robot friend. Can you get rid of this stuff? A sweeping robot. The wheels are broken. Well, shit. Okay. It kind of seems relatively easy of what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, that was kind of easy. <gasps> Save. Alright. Does it, Do any of the other things do something different, or are they all the same? Alright. I'm going to assume they're all the same. I saved. That's why I went ahead and did that. Again, I just, I, I'm apologizing to the developer a lot. I think I heard this was their first game. I'm trying not to get as angry as I am, but having to rewatch cutscenes is something that really pisses me off. Alright, I like how I wasn't... Alright. I don't know how I was expected that to happen. I think it's trying to open the door. It doesn't allow you can outrun it forever. Your best shot is to find a hiding place quickly. Wow, okay. When it says quickly, it legit means quickly. Wow. Fuck you. Oh my god. Cool. Great. Great. More th another thing that I'm gonna have to dodge, run away from for all eternity. Talks. Well, I've I'm going to be fucking afraid of you because everything in this game has been fucking bullshit. I'm not going to assimilate you. I'm not the same as them. Sure you aren't. Please rest assured. You must have seen the hints that I posted on the wall. I know that humans must be very smart and excellent creatures. If you're human, then it would be easy for for you to get here. Oh, fuck you. I know that's been hard, but thank you for coming here. Please rest for a while. Do you want to talk? No, not really. Suddenly I'm feeling a little nervous. 
Actually, you're probably more nervous than he is. Maybe he knows the code to what? Might be a good idea to ask him about this place. Code to what? Glad you didn't run away or throw anything in my face. As you can see, I'm so-called monster. Just a normal, nothing special monster who wants to be better. Actually, I'm no different than those things that you've seen before once it's for you. In fact, please do not try to fall on me. Consequences are very serious. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Puro. Puro, I don't know. I'm a black latex monster. If I have a gender, I think I would be male. I guess you were the one who was locked in that room. I'm not very good at writing, but I hope that the hints I wrote helped you to understand the situation. Okay, so he was the one who wrote the thing with bad handwriting. I wrote it up and posted it on the wall. So you're disappointed that the one who led you here isn't human? But humans are still an excellent species. Are there any left? You really made it. You came all the way to the library by yourself. Sorry, this place is a mess. I haven't cleaned it yet. Must have been the power failure that made your capsule open. At that moment, I realized that you were finally going to wake up. I've never had a conversation with anyone before. Nobody else speaks here. I might be bad at it, but I will try my best to answer your questions. It's a great honor to have a conversation with a real human. I've studied here for ages, probably for this very moment. It's a great honor to talk with the species who created us. So, what would you like to ask? Uh... What's your plan? It was a long time ago. I went upstairs to try and find more information about the world. There I discovered info that said that there's a still a human in one of the capsules. Then I found the room you were locked in. I'm really trying to calm down now. This game has been utter bullshit. It's been good. A lot of bullshit moments. Very hard. But it was tagged as difficult, so I should have expected a lot of bullshit. But it's been good. Don't take anything I am saying to heart, developer. Just everything I'm saying in this game, listen. don't listen to it. I've, listen to anything I'll say at the end of this game. I wrote all the clues I could think of that could help you and lead you to me. If you don't get out of here quickly and keep wandering around this building, you will be transferred by those latex creatures. My original plan was to use the last human as a host and I could be better and stronger. Even though you've been kidnapped, it may have been a blessing you missed the plague outbreak and survived. I don't know whether you'd call it that, uh, lucky or unlucky, but now I'm sure that you're the only human in this building. I never left the building, so I'm not sure how it is outside. It looks like ruins. Where did the humans go? You might have to prepare for the worst. Same for me. You're so weak and thin. I'm not interested in you for now. You don't have to worry. For now. Kidnapping. I'm not entirely sure if you were kidnapped or not, but I doubt you volunteered for this. Maybe they kidnapped you because you were special somehow. You slept for a long time, only using that machine to keep you alive. I'm sorry. Why did it? Do you want to be transferred? Never mind, I'm kidding. So what would you like to ask? Um, building info. If you want to keep searching this building and escape, you must overcome lots of dangers. But if you made it this far, that means you've got what it takes to escape this building. Lots of doors in this building are closed as well. The doors are sturdy and most of them have passcodes. Not even I could get through them. Like the room you were locked in. Try to keep going. I can't help you escape, but if you have any questions, please ask. It's still dangerous for me to search around the building. Uh, password. The door next to the moon poster. So the human finally needs some help. Shouldn't you try and find out the password by yourself? Really? You're just asking me right away? I don't want to. I'm supposed to escape. Do it by yourself, but I guess it's really a hard one. Password to... Uh... Wow. Alright, that's a weird password, but alright. Do not forget. Alright, can I talk to you a little bit more? Okay. So what would you like to ask? How can you talk? Incredible, right? I was the same as those dark creatures you saw outside. Till one day I came to this library, and I started having interest in these books, uh, language you call, you humans create. It was strange, but I started to look at these books filled with strange symbols and pictures. It fascinated me. I read as many as I could, but I eventually started to notice the patterns, repeated words, and labeled pictures. But I am the only one who had the desire to learn them. Learn. None of the others had the same interest in studying. I surprised myself that I learned to talk. However, studying this is super hard for me. But I wanted to prove myself. Human language, culture, and their entire world fascinated me so much. It'd be awesome if I was a human. At least I'd learn to see uh, things without motion sensing, but it's still such a challenge for me to read. 
improve yourself. Yes, my species was created from a failed sample that humans produced. So I know that I'm naturally weak, but I've also read that humans used to be very weak as well, millennia ago. Maybe there could be a high IQ like me who would lead his kind to build their own civilization, like humanity did. I know it sounds stupid, but no matter what happens, I still want to give it a try. I tried to better myself because I want to be, uh, want my kind to be better. I don't want my kind to be doomed to failure and extinction. I want to be better. Evolution. I believe you've already seen those impressive crystals on the way here. When we die, our bodies dissipate. Only this white mask remains. After our masks fall to the ground, it sprouts the same type of crystals, which you saw on the way here. Yeah, dragon fucking makes them all the time. Crystals break eventually, producing new creatures. Sometimes a few of them turn out to be different than the rest. I am one of these. The ones that can fly, and that big guy are evolved more than most. The normal ones like me were created using wolves DNA. Your mask. It's actually our foundation. If the mask is broken, then our bodies can't stick back together. Because our bodies are made of latex, if our bodies are damaged, it will heal itself. If our masks are damaged, then... What are you looking at me like that for? This mask is very hard. Don't try anything stupid. Okay, there was a lot of questions there, but... Alright. Um... Alright, there was a few other questions that I could ask. Alright, uh, improve yourself. Uh, humanity? It's ironic that after humans made us, they just disappeared. Or they left this building and moved to another place. I don't know exactly what happened outside. This building provides good protection. It has a great sterilization system, sterilization system and good preservation conditions. The virus can't be spread inside here. People would be safe inside. But other people could... I read that when they wanted to destroy all of us failed samples. A big riot happened here. People outside knew that scientists were finding a cure for the virus. Then people outside just rushed into the building. They ransacked everything in this building and tried to find things called vaccines and serums. But those scientists were, weren't planning to give it to everybody, only for a small sheltered group of humans. For them to survive, it did not let humanity become extinct. The rioters ruined everything in this building. Research couldn't continue. Then we latex creatures broke out and now rule this place. You may already know, but we are the failed samples, and because we have our own minds, the humans we transfer lose their own. They didn't want that at all, so they moved us all up to the idle office on the upper floor, and tried to destroy us. Guess what? Some escaped. It still scares me whenever I think about it. Are the latex creatures escaped during the big raid as well, and they really messed up the place. They conquered here after the aft the humans left then this place became our hunting area all right i think i'm gonna go ahead and go there are latex beasts over there are you sure you want to go in no not really what about over here okay okay well i don't know if i'll see you again but bye Okay, so I gotta pass this part again. I probably should have saved. That's alright. Okay, whatever. Wait a minute, I have to go through the crow again, but plus that big white thing is over. Right? Right? Get away from me, crow. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to see that guy again. Hopefully I do. I liked him. One, 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 zero, 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 three, three. Something opened. Yeah! Yeah, I don't I honestly know if I'm going to see that guy again. I really hope I do. A device to control the gate of the library. You have opened it from the other side. Okay, cool. What's this now? Looks like the door is blocked by latex. What should you do? Maybe go back? Let me guess the furry guy's gonna be here. Yeah, there he is.
That looks different. Great. Oh, I get to watch this cutscene over and over again. Really? 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 You pulled that bullshit on me. God, no! You had to put box... Oh god, he's still gonna be chasing me. So close, now you're safe. Am I? There's no safe way out there anymore. Maybe you should ask Puro. No, I, you know what? I know... I know that people probably want to see the death. I'm not... I'm not even going to try. Oh god, the fucking crow. Yeah, you're a crow. Fuck you. Oh, now I gotta pass this again. God dang it. I'm really, really just starting to really dislike this game. Like, all aspects of it. Doors being blocked by those light attacks? I was worried this might happen. Have you tried to find another way? No, give it a try. There isn't always one way to succeed. Other way. Yep, you can try going in those side rooms. Light touch creatures inside are always asleep. I just checked it recently. They're still sleeping. I don't think they could hurt you as long as you don't wake them. Just try it. I can't give you any more clues. I believe you can make it. Show me a human's intelligence. Alright, let's try it. Let's try the left side, I guess. Some photographs. Alright. Ooh, all right, here's the thing. Does that mean I'm supposed to be sprinting? Directions, thanks. Um, all right, let's try and go the other way. It's too small to get in. All right, you know what? People want to see the death, so. I know people want to see them. Besides, I just saved. Alright. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's, it, yeah, it claims I've been playing for 37 minutes, but really I've almost been playing for two hours. have to be so polite human. Say thank you to a monster. Are you serious? Alright, let's go right then. Why is there just a poster of one of them? Self-portrait of Pyro. The wall behind it appears to be strangely dented. Don't step don't step on it. You well wake them up. Pyro must have wrote that. Oh, come on.
that was different. That was interesting how Pyro ended up saying something different. Okay, bye. Miss your fox. Alright, that's just water. And that's a wall. Something was shocking. You mean, come here. It's really? Thank you for visiting. Here's my home. Welcome to the wolf's nest. But... Wait, you see here? This is the... Oh! Oh, it's him! This is the ventilation system of the building. As you see, it's everywhere. If you know a little bit about the location of the vents, you can go anywhere you want. If you want to travel further, you have to... Uh, you have to come in from a larger maintenance tunnel. I just have to go across a dark road to get, f uh, you know, from the library vent. Do you want to sit with me for a moment? Sure. Haven't been this happy in ages. A living, legendary human. No one's ever listened to what I had to say before. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, so sit. In other words, like, I rest on that for a while? Sure. This is adorable, I will say that. I don't know what to say. Human? Are you afraid of sitting with me? Probably. I've thought countless times of what may happen if you came into the library. When you came in, that tail was right in front of you. I was startled. I was afraid that he would take you away. I wouldn't have a chance. What? It's good that he didn't catch up with you. Though in the end, you are smaller than I. Hopes were shattered. Don't stare at me like that. If I wanted to be stronger and escape, I could only rely on the human locked in the building. You. I wanted to see the colorful world outside. I wanted to be an excellent human, not a latex monster. But I can't leave. This building is blocked off. I'm still too weak. The fear of the unknown. The fear of trying. The fear of taking the first step. Should I give him a voice now? I think I will. I've thought a lot recently, but now that you're here, I have to face reality. Oh, he's crying. With that an excellent host, my strength alone can't make my race grow stronger. I'm just a small, foolish latex monster who's been a failure ever since I was created. No matter how smart or strong a host is, it, it is still fragile after all. You, you have your own goal, right? Go out and see what the world looks like. Please keep going and escape from here. Thank you for accompanying me. Thank you for listening to me. Of all the rage that I've had throughout this game, I do admit there are some moments that it's a good game. I'm gonna, I'll say that it's a good game. And I apologize to the developer for any insulting things that I've said. When I rage, I am completely uncensored. So I apologize for that. And plus, I've, it's 1 a.m. and I've been recording for two hours. Greetings, human. There's food and water here. Traveling is also easy. And there's air conditioning. It's warm in winter and cool in summer. How long have you been here? No matter what you may think, it's a good idea to settle down here. What about friends? Well, I'm out of the crowd. Our genetic source comes from wolves. To leave means betrayal. So now even if I wanted to go back, nobody would accept me. But I don't regret it. I know what others do not know, and I've seen what others have not. I'm very happy. Kind of. I didn't call you, Siri. Oh. Greetings, human. Uh, what's your plan? I was a little worried about the blackout not long ago. Blackout caused you to wake up, right? The manual stated that after a power failure, the capsule door would be opened automatically in order to prevent suffocation. I might go down and take a look at it with you. But I'll take a shortcut. Humans can only take the road, though. It'll be difficult. Come on, now maybe you should find a generator first. Bottom floor. Generator. That's one of the most important places in the building. A steady stream of electricity is carried from tiny wires, supplying the building with energy. <coughs> it's a long way from here. I haven't gone there for a long time because the road is so long. All right, I am going to go save. And then I'll talk a little bit more. 
Uh, okay, there's a few things to ask. Uh, bottom floor. I haven't been there before, nor do I know much about the creatures there. But the latex animals in the labs are the elite of the elite. But I'll be careful. I hope you'll be too. <coughs> that voice is kind of hurting my throat. Alright, where are we going now? Whoops. Bye, Pearl. I mean, I don't know if... I'm assuming I'm going this way. What's this? Painting of a tail. Alright. Uh, a comfortable warm wind blows on your body. Oh, it's a heater. So wait, what what season is this? Okay, so where am I going? I'm just a monster. You're a smart human being. It's up to you to find the answer by your sides. I've drawn a hint in an important place. You just have to find a secret. Don't just rely on me, you know. By the way, have you seen any leopards? They are a group of latex beasts that are very persistent. Their curiosity is very strong and are quite a nuisance. They always trip me and jump on my back. Those damned... Wow. There was a... There was a damn. Alright, so let me guess. Is, is the tail the hint? Or am I just... No? Okay. Small ditch. Very deep and wide and narrow. Wouldn't be able to leap over, but there's no room to jump. This narrow ventilation. Maybe you could push a box to fill it. Uh, okay. Push a box. Um, okay, here we go. This is gonna get kind of annoying. This is gonna get irritating fast. I feel like I'm about to pass through this. Got it. <laughs> I did that wrong. God dang it. God dang it. Now I have to leave. Fucking god dang it. And I'm probably gonna have to push that box all the way back. Am I gonna have to push that box all the way back? Oh no, I don't think I do. I think once the box is in there, it's just stuck in there. Is, is that how it is? God, thank you. Um. Oh, okay, I can do it like that. There we go. Got it. Oh my god. Okay, is that box going to stay there? I don't know if that box is going to stay there. I hope it will. Oh, fuck. Nope, it doesn't stay there. Oh, okay. I assumed with the electricity noises that I something bad was about to happen. I should probably go save. Immediately. Yeah, I thought what, with that electricity sound, I would get electrocuted from the water, but I guess not. Alright. Anything gonna attack me? No, it's just a painting of a fox. Lazy fox on the paper. God dang it. So is this just a very long puzzle, box puzzle now? Is that what this is now? Oh, finally. Question mark, question mark. Is that gonna... God dang it. Vent open, but nothing happened. Great, the vent opened. <sighs> I gotta do the box thing over again. 
Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta throw something at me that I can get stuck at and that... This game's bullshit. That's just what it does. Gotta get over it. Okay. I see it. Here we go. Should carefully discover a secret passage. <sighs> Empty cans. Survivor's remnants. I ran to the ventilation pipe and hid by the entrance. The leakage is very serious here. I don't know if I can hold on much longer. Hopefully they'll get the monsters outside first. Okay, I, just, I just I just wanted to look at that. That's all I wanted to look at was the... Or the I can probably go around. Shit. Also, apparently there's a bunch of things that I'm, I'm reading and watching a walkthrough because at this point, I just want to see the end of this game. And apparently there's some things you have to do or else you get some kind of end or else you get a bad, 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 bad ending. So, uh, yeah. Scientist. All right. Alright, where am I going? Oh, it's getting darker. It's a dark. I don't know where I'm going now. It's too dark to read it. Well, screw you. Oh god. Small ditch, very deep. Uh, maybe you could push a box to fill it. Well, how? I don't see how. What was that noise? What is something running around in here? There's probably something around in here, isn't there? I think I see what to do. In fact, I do see what to do. Okay. Just gotta push this guy all the way to that hole. Got it. Got it. I'm a smart. I didn't even need a walkthrough for that. I'm just a smarty pants, kind of. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I have of this game. From the look of it, I had quite a bit. Got it. And that's a save. Oh, wait, is that... I wasn't sure if that save was real or not, but now I have to find out after I go through all that again. Good. Great. Glad for that. Really glad for that. Alright. Yep, that's, that's rubber. Or latex. God, I really wish you could push this faster. Really wish there was a way to push these boxes faster. I really do. But you can't really push them that fast. All right, I don't know whether or not this thing here was a save. It looked kind of crooked, so it's making me think that it's not. Making me think that it's another ploy. Another thing, another heartbreak. Yeah, it's exactly what that noise is. You dumb jerk hole. I'm not touching you. I'm going to save so I don't have to move that box every time I die. You jerk. Hi, Pearl. You're the only one who understands me here, kind of. I mean, you're not human, but whatever. You still understand me. You still seem like you understand me, so that that's... 
that's good enough for me. I mean, that's all. That's the best I'm gonna get anyway. So, whatever. All right, now I have to push that box every time. Right? Okay, good. All right, so he's not gonna go through that. Hello? Are there any other? So is water ever bad? It's too dark, right? Right, right, up, up, left, left, down, down. Okay, so... Right, okay. Little box. Little box. Thanks. Oh my god. Okay. That's a snake. That happened for no reason. Cool. Glad for that. Super glad for that. I don't like that I have to go all the way back down here, but whatever. As long as I don't have to push that box in every time. So I took a small break, um, wanted to get something to drink, and plus I needed to just kind of restart my recording, just so that it wouldn't go on too long, and I wanted to just watch a few things that would make me laugh, and I have. I laughed until I teared up, which I really needed right now, because I have been so fucking angry right lately, so that felt good. It felt really good to just get some laughter in. Now we're going to figure out what to do. Oh, despite its jaggy appearance, the save point is safe to use. Okay, game. Is that another hole I need to fill? Oh, okay. You tripped on something in the darkness. Something's coming this way. Oh my god. Okay. So now I'm expected to push more boxes out of the way while the very, 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 very much faster than me creature is chasing me. Got it. That's... So this game's full of is bullshit like that. Oh my god, yes. Fuck you. Really need to calm down with the swearing. Watch out for electricity. Thanks. Can I get a save? Please? Hey! Is that... Over here, over here! Is that... Oh. It's me, Piro. Oh, okay. I just saw you. Good thing you run so fast. Very nice, actually. It looks like I don't need to worry about you. Come on, there's a long ways to go. Piro's looking forward to your next performance. I gotta go. You know where to go next. It shouldn't... No, I don't. Be careful. He slipped away. I don't know where to go next. Someone's personal photo scattered at the floor. Maybe it was taken during a trip. People in the photos look very happy. These pictures are their only remnants. Wow. It's not photos of uh, someone being turned it. Turned, huh? Oh my god. Uh, it appears to be. Okay, great. Great. Okay, there's, it's too far from the save. I don't want to see that death. You just put shake your arms and rub them against the wall. At last you manage to throw the slime off you, it slips away, dejected. I really, it's too far away. It, I'm sorry, everyone. The air he here doesn't feel right. It smells strange and it's making you uncomfortable. You start to feel a little dizzy. What? What? Really? Are you serious? The air turns me into one now. The air turns me into one now. Alright. 
Okay. I kind of know what to do. I'm I'm tired of this trial and error stuff, so I'm staying I'm reading says that safe spots are in front of fans. Okay. Fan. Fan. God dang it. All because I got caught in the corner. Comfortable warm and buzz in your body. Thank you. God, fuck. Wow, okay. Yeah, and she show me a picture of the dog curled up. Yep, yeah, I get it. It's cute. It's scared. Whatever, I don't give a shit. No one, stop. Listen, go back. Don't touch the human. Be good. Go away. It's all right now. Even though the cub can't transfer you, we're close to the generator room. Let's go together, human. It's still going to be hard, but it'll be with, I'll be with you. Here we go. And you're sitting there. Happy to be able to help such a nice human. You aren't afraid of me either. I should thank you for taking me as a friend. Piero is very moved. Great. That's one of the things that I had to do to make it so that I get the good ending, is thank Piero. That's one of the three things I had to do in this stupid area. Oh, great. And there's a water level coming up. Fuck this game. I lie quietly in the bottom of the water. I can't see a thing. I don't think I'm cut out for fishing. Fish are hard to catch. Those are fish. Uh, those fish are genetically modified fish, by the way. It wouldn't, wouldn't make sense to have a uh, bag of fish here. Great. Yeah, they're, they're sharks. Can't open it. I've tried. Tried my hardest, struggled, screamed, and slaved away. Despite this, nothing will change in the end. I couldn't change anything. So sad for you. Wait a minute. Why are you so determined to get out of here? For me, a fresh new world is very appealing and interesting. For you, it's a ruined world. If the notes I've read are true, when you get out of the building, what would you do if the virus still exists? You should think about it. I don't want a nice human like you to perish like that. All right, thanks. Okay. I understand why so many people are posting these notices everywhere, so I made one too. I guess it must be interesting enough if you're reading it. Ha 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 I'm not sure... Wow, really? They have little boosts like that, too? <sighs> Those stations are all faded, and it has some daily... Okay, I got it. Great, thanks. Okay, good. There's a save here. The electricity doesn't... God dang it. Oh, 
Where's the power? Gate is closed. Great. Gate is closed. Might open. Okay. So I'm guessing I go, gotta go past the shark for the save to work. Of course, that's a thing. Of course that would be a thing. This, can't just... Did I already thank him? Okay, good. I have like no commentary right now. I just want to be done with this game. I think I've been playing this for almost three hours now. Oh my god. Can I turn on? Yes. The power has been turned on. So there's just for some reason two of them now. How? Where did the second one come from? Glad for this game. Oh. oh my god. Hey. A big wet tail. What why does what what is it? I didn't find it the other way. I came through the water. My tail was soaked, so my body started to sink. I may be a electric creature, but I have fur too, you know. I'll try to become dry and catch up with you soon. Call me when you're in danger. Even with this waterlogged tail, I will save you at full speed. Okay, thanks. Not oh, great. There's more. Dude, what's with the frame? Frame rate lowers horribly in there. Gate is closed. Might open if you restore the power. The power is restored. Whatever. Fuck that. Are they gone? Yeah, there's something here. Yeah, it's a boss. I don't, I don't really know what you're supposed to do there. Come on. It's going slower because it's 10, 10 frames per second. For some reason, this RPG maker game is running on frames. And now I just gotta do this again. I love how there's the second one here now.
is emitting Z noises. Ah, nice Undertale reference. You poke pros ears. Mm -hmm. Way to fall asleep. I fell asleep. I was really tired after climbing up s for so long in these narrow pipes. It's very warm here. I couldn't help but take a nap. Wait, is that water or sweat? What happened when I was asleep? Uh, really? It's hard to imagine how difficult that was. You're a your Right? You're remarkable. Maybe you're not as weak as you look. You're great. You're trembling, are you alright? Looks like you're cold. You barely have any clothes after all. Want to rest for a moment? My tail is very warm. Yes, yes. I thought if I touched him, I would corrode or whatever, man. His eyes with glasses. So. You don't want to disturb him. You stand up and put his big tail back in place. I am saving after that bullshit. Oh my god. So I think I don't think a big fluffy tail. Okay, yeah, so I can't talk him. Oh. Great. There's four sharks, and I move about as slow as a turtle in this water. This is possible. Yeah. Okay. Just a lot of baiting. Oh, great. Another water boss. Is that what's about to happen? Oh, my God. Another water boss, and the frame rate is super low. Cool. Great. Happy for this. Really? They can just charge at you? If there's another boss, I'm done with this game. I'm not playing this game anymore if there's another boss. Oh, great. There's more of those things. F fuck it.
Great, these things are faster. I am so glad I saved. I would have quit right there. This doesn't show the motherfucking cutscene again. I would have quit right there if I hadn't saved. What just opened? <sighs> Power system was automatically shut off six hours ago due to the external fa factors, external attacks. Please try and repair it as soon as possible. Potential causes of the accident, rust, bad contact, worms, so decay. Power system has been in service for 1,794 days, one time. Great. Five years. For five years, the building has been running on eternal power. What happened these five years? I don't know. Was the power cable cut or was it abandoned? This can't be true. Way! You didn't want to believe the ruins below were real, but you've always known that this place, this is probably the cause. You just couldn't bring yourself to accept it. But it's true. Everyone's gone. Everything. Except you. You don't know if you can go on. After all, there's nothing left outside. You may have survived the outbreak, but death might have been pre preferable to a lifetime alone. Immense emptiness. Im irre irrepressible fear. Overwhelming despair. Loss of purpose and meaning floods into your heart, drowning into you in hesitation. Oh, okay. So I think the game is supposed to end there, but because I did everything, um, with Puro or Puro, whatever. Hey, it's me. I followed behind you. Wait for a minute. There are some words I need to say. I can't go on like this anymore. I need to face it. Thank you for coming, human. Thank you for the time you spent with me, for staying so long with a lonely monster. Humans are truly ex excellent creatures. Human, I've decided to go with you. I mean, all the time, until we get to the outside world. I want to be with you. I've never had enough courage to be able to explore the area ahead, but now I've changed my mind. For you and for myself, I need to take this step. Mm. Human, thanks for giving me confidence. If you can be so determined in such a dangerous environment, then I won't be a coward anymore. I know I've already told you, but Pura will always be with you. Although I'm not human, I understand loneliness. I won't think about the host problem anymore. After all, you're my friend now. I'll say it again. Thank you for giving me confidence. Even if the outside world is completely ruined, I'll be with you. We may be the last pair of talking creatures in the entire world. I'm sorry for asking such an unreasonable request. But I want to have a real adventure with a real friend. Let's go together, human. You won't regret it. May I come with you? Let's move. So, where are we going? Oh. I did. I... Wait, so do I follow him? Oh. Follow me. Well, thank you. All right, let's go. Can I get a save? Oh, okay, something's happening. You're finally here. It's evening now. We could pass through the building while those guys are sleeping. If they can fall asleep, that is, I only know for sure that the fox does. But, well, you know why I couldn't continue exploring? Not just because of the beasts. I couldn't open the door. I couldn't find the code. Yeah, I know. Don't laugh! Have you found it yet? 
I know there's a door hidden to the right, but it's very dangerous inside. It's the territory of the white latex. You've already seen the territory of the dark latex, and the territory of white latex is similar. I came here before, but I didn't explore any further. It's scary for me to step into the territory of our natural enemies. I didn't call you, Siri. This, the second way is another hidden door to the left. When I approached it, it said you don't have paw mission to enter. What does that mean? Can't find any other ways. The vent doesn't connect down to the ground either. There we go. Jeez. Pure white as far as you can see. Floor, ceiling, walls are all made of white latex. Alright. It's dangerous, but I followed. Here is a nest of the white latex. Perhaps only a small one. It's really dangerous here. Please be careful. The whole room is alive. If they wake up, we'll be in trouble. Uh, they can melt the dark latex as crystal and absorb our bodies as food. My legs are trembling. I can't move. Oh, jeez. I can't... Oh, God. Alright. Cool. What the heck is that pumping into me? Oh, there's a safe. Oh, there's a safe. I just watched a walkthrough and did it step by step. Developer, this is a good game. This is a good game. It just has not been for me. But I've put weight... I, I can admit that. This game is definitely not for me. But I've put in, I've put in the effort and I'm going to finish this p fucking game. Boring, 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 Who wrote it, though? I don't know. It's a picture of the outside. Green plants are shown growing on broken walls. One of them is a gray, cylindrical building. It's most likely the building you're in. Allow access to the gate? Yes. Someone's watching you? But who? I don't know. I must save again. So, is, is the same thing going to happen? Nope. What is this? And what is this strange latex forest? Uh, they can simulate plants now. If you bump into it, you'll be entangled and force injected a nutrient tube into your navel. Yeah, I noticed that. This thing keeps you trapped until the transformation is done. How do I know? I've witnessed smaller animals suffering here. I never came until now. By the way, sorry, human. I was blocked by the wall. I need to help you. I can only watch. I couldn't help when you were in danger. I'm so useless. Let's move, human. Eh, you're not useless. Okay, so I'm supposed to let him catch up. And then I talk to him before we go into the gate. Uh, 
At least there's no more of those things. Thank you for waiting for me. Sick ground makes me walk so slowly, but I'm happy to see you wait for me. Human really is a friend. You don't know how happy I am. Okay, so... Okay. Looks like we've gained PA mission. Now we can move on. PA mission. God. Turns out that I might be a burden on you. Sorry, I'll try my best. You're not a burden. It's fine. You mean I've got a plan. I'll go first this time. Stay here. I'll lure them off. I'm a dark latex. They're a natural enemy. They'll attack me first on sight. After white latex quiet down, you can follow after, okay? It'll be safe. If I can't help you, it will, I will only burden you. I want to be helpful. That's the sort of friend you'd want, right? Please give me a chance. Time to move. Wish me luck. Good luck. Come on out! You're natural enemy! Come here, it's safe now. Cool. Oh, jeez. You can rely on me. Pero is dependable. I tried running on tiptoe. It goes really fast. I'm a super Pero. Let's get out of here first. Nothing else to see here, human. All right. Oh, another save. Do you know how to get to the ground floor? You don't? It doesn't matter. Pyro will go with you. Uh. Okay. Oh, jeez. Um. What? Oh, I'm probably supposed to... I am probably supposed to go into that door, I think. Okay, so as it turns out, I have to go through the white territory anyway. Awesome. If I can even get in there. Save one more time so I don't have to talk to Pearl again. Why can't I run when this is happening? can't just be easy, right? You can't just let me off. I swear, this game gives you absolutely no slack. God. <laughs> okay, I gotta admit, that's kind of funny. Do I have to go through these guys again? No, I don't. I thought you weren't able to touch me. You're fine. You're really fine. Thank you. Thank you. I knew you could do it. Uh, I'm too excited. I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, I'm still no help. I even said something like, you can rely on me. Are you disappointed? I should have been able to. Blah, 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 blah. I 
I swear I will do better next time. I will protect you, human. I'm serious. You're my only friend. Come on, let's move. I'm so tired of this game. I am so tired of this game. Save. No, let's talk to Pearl first. Puro. If I had met you, I'd still be there, reading that encyclopedia. I'm glad to be with you. I'm glad you can listen to me. I'm glad you don't dislike me. I was just feeling that I should be a little more useful. I hope I can be stronger. Thank you too, human. I'm happy to be with you. Used to thank you many times. Nobody's ever thanked me before. Piro doesn't know what to say. You're the best, human. I'm so happy to be with a friend. Right. Okay. So, this, this area? The door only opens from the inside. Well, f fuck you, then. Hi. Hello. You've just fallen into my trap. Okay. I've locked the door. There's no way to escape. Human, what's going on? I'll make this quick. Your journey ends here. You can't escape. I know what you were trying to do. I saw you through the mo- Oh, so you're the one who's been, mon who's been monitoring. You want to leave. Impossible. Impossible. Hold still while I gas you. Wow. You may answer me! You feel a little bit sleepy. You can't hold your eyes open. You man! Here man! Awesome. You're awake. I didn't think that people who've slept for five years need any more sleep. Because all this happened so suddenly, I didn't have any other way to deal with you. I had to confront you like this. There's no other place to imprison you. It's very problematic for you to come here at all. Just stay here a while. Who are you? Is that Dark Sample your friend? He seemed very intelligent. He kept pounding the door after you fainted. I suppose he's almost succeeded breaking inside by now. I'll deal with him on my own. Don't hate me for this. Oh, I do hate you. By the way, it appears that the failed samples have produced a highly intelligent individual. Would you call that a complete failure or a great or an great success? You cannot break this wall. It's withstood attacks from many different samples. It's indestructible. Who are you? You must be wondering why I'm doing this. Yeah. Not everyone died in the plague. Humanity's elites gathered together during the early stages of the epidemic. They commissioned a great shelter. They also funded our research on alternative treatments in this facility. Only these elites still survive. They now wait in the last reservoir of humanity. And you're trying to kill them. You've been asleep for five years. That virus is almost extinct. I believe that the world is starting to become habitable again. Rebuilt by the surviving human elites will be more brilliant than any throughout this history. It will be my greatest achievement to with witness this beauty rise in human history. However, you, sh you showed up. Yeah. I injected myself with our latest sample during the riot. Despite my new furry appearance. <laughs> I'm still quite alive and sane. And I've kept in touch with the shelter for these five years. Today we strive for the construction of a new civilization. And, however, a few hours ago, electricity was cut off due to rusted cables. You'll first be awakened from the capsule. You've been locked in there since the beginning of the outbreak, without any medical examinations or any other tests. After the riot, you've been kept dormant until now. Okay. The end. Now it's time to tell you my reasons. My reasons of doing all this is because... I don't know if you've been infected. All our diagnostic equipment was destroyed in the riot. There's no way to safely determine whether you are a carrier. 
If I let you leave, releasing a potential carrier to the outside world, the once dead disease may reassur resurge and extinguish our last flame of hope. Humanity would be all over. Eh, that's kind of a good reason, honestly. I won't let you destroy our hope of a new civilization with your selfish desires. Can't let you bury our chance just because you want to live. I understand that you want to live. I have this for myself. I, because I also want to live. But I'm sorry. I can't let somebody go free. I can't let some nobody go free when so much is on the line. If someone is a, of no important value and only causes trouble, it's better for him to disappear. I mean, you're being a douchebag about it, but still. It's moral to sacrifice some for the greater good. If they leads to live and create a better future. So I can't let you escape. It's best if you were erased from the picture entirely. Wait here. I'm going now. Sir. Alright. You need to save girl. So there's a button. Uh. There's an obvious protruding plate on the ground. You want to unlock if you want on the red mark. Hmm. Aren't on the red mark. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I don't. There's a sweeping robot on the other side. Call out to me. Sweeping robot. Help. Oh, so he'll follow me now. Okay. Okay. Unlock if you're on the red bar. Well, oh, god dang it. likes playing with you like this. Right. What happens if I touch you? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a bottom half. Alright. Well, I really don't want to do this. I need to end this session. Okay, so we are currently on a new session. It is a new day. Um... I ended up playing until 5 a.m. It is now almost 2 p.m. And I want to say something before we get started. Obviously, I said a lot of things in my rage. A lot of things that I didn't mean. I'm going to say this. This game is not for me. Very obviously. This game is very obviously not for me. It's not the kind of game that was made for my kind of play style. Uh, but I've dedicated way too much time and effort into this game to quit now. And I think I'm almost at the end. So I'm going to keep going, but to the developer, if you are watching this, I, I apologize for everything I said, but you did make a good game. And if I remember right, I heard it was your first. So th for a first game, this is very good. Um, I still stand by some of the things I said, uh, skippable cutscenes, or if you die, there should just be a retry button where you just restart right where you need to be. But other than that, let's just go, you know. I've dedicated way too much time to this game, so I am just gonna went beat it. Alright, so this little robot is following us again. God dang it. Okay, I, d I didn't think that I was... I didn't think that I was that close to him, but whatever. Oh god, memories of restarting. Oh, 
Oh my god. Seems like the gate is open. Yay! No more of this goddamn robot, please. Of course, this has to be. Of course, has to be more of the robot, doesn't there? Oh, and let me get. Really? That strange smell that makes you cramp up. Really? Now I got this bullshit to deal with, and there's not even a save. You can feel the heat. I'm so tired of this song. You don't know how exhausted of this song I'm, that I am. Okay, they're better. There had better. There had better be a save in here. Oh, it's done. Oh, it's fucking done. Robot looks happy. Yeah, I'm glad you're happy, robot. I'm not. I'm not happy in the slightest. Thank you, little robot. Yeah, thanks. It's time to go find Perot. Yeah, whatever. What's in these? Hi. Yeah, that's what I got taken over by in that other room. Cool. Sample, samples, and more samples we observe. But, 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 but. I don't. Even, I don't even care at this point. I don't even care about the story at this point. I just want to beat the game. Where's Pyro? I need to find him. I'm gonna go fucking save first. I don't even care about Pyro. Ugh. All right, is Pearl over here? There we go. Wow, did they knock each other out? Pearl? Wake up! You violently shake his body. So light, so soft. Pearl doesn't respond. He lies paralyzed on the floor, unresponsive. Are you too late? Probably not. He's fine. Yep. Sorry for what? <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm just tired. Why did you say sorry to me? You're stepping on my tail. Girl. You relieve your hands and his head falls straight to the ground. Nice. Good job. Are you really treating a wound this way? A wounded? Are you okay? Looks like you're unscathed. Somehow. I didn't know how to open the door all the time. I was angry, but it didn't help open the door. A few hours later, it finally opened. Suddenly, this clothed guy came out. He came out at me with a blunt weapon, tried to hit my mask with all his strength. At that time, I was thinking, if I fell here, everything would be over. I couldn't let that happen. So thinking that I... So then I blocked with my slimy claws, and then they smashed right off. B oh, I thought they said bitch. But don't worry, my body's made of latex, so I'll be back to normal in no time. You have hands. I ran to this room, and he followed, and we forgot. And we fought. I was weak and unarmed. Then he almost smashed my head. But suddenly, the cloth guy pulled latex and slipped. His head smashed against the locker. He was out cold. So that's my story. Afterwards, I felt so... Tired that I just rested here. Yeah, it's a gr great idea. It's very dangerous. It's a great idea, Pearl. But it's good to see you safe. I can't believe it. Nothing's too difficult for a human. You were worried about me. I finally know what it's like to be needed. I feel so happy. This guy's still lying on the floor. Let's get out of here. Let's not stick around until he wakes up. Yeah, please stay close to me. Yeah, that's probably not either. Let's get going. What voice did I give him last time? Can't remember. We're very close to the ground floor, but the next area is the main laboratory. We can do it. You can't. Oh, hi. Don't. Hey, dude. We still have a chance. Don't go outside. Well, you just tried to kill me, so, you know. Although the future may be unknown, it's the only way to continue. You don't know what the result will be, but it would be even more terrible if you did nothing. And you have Pyro with you. Let's go. Yeah, you tried to kill me, bro, so I'm not listening to you. Is there a save in here? 
I hope that guy didn't do anything to you. Should we? Oh, kill him. I mean, stop him. Maybe block the door. I doubt he could easily I, you know, get around. I stepped on his ear before. Hmm. Um, I guess I don't do anything. The heck? Okay. You don't feel sick, right? If you're tired, please take a rest for a while. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I had a lot of fruit before I started. All right. I don't know why that's bouncing off, but whatever. <sighs> Can I save? Please. Closed. Okay, I guess it's the other way. I don't know. I'm just kind of trying to find something. Oh, there's a save there, thank God. I can feel the wind blowing. We're close. Cheer up, human, we can make it. But nothing happened. Why does that keep happening? Oh, okay. Okay, thanks. I like how you just sat there for a minute. Pure helped to take out the latex. It ran back into the vent. If you think that's a problem, you'd better think again. I can deal with anything. Almost. He's trying to squeeze out a smug wink at you, but it's hard to tell under the mask. I tried. Okay. I'll get you next time. I don't know. What's this? Cute. But at the same time, I just want this to end. No per no permission to access. So how do we get permission? I don't know. So wait, it's saying permission. For some reason, he's saying permission. Why? Why are you saying it like that, Puro? That's weird. Do you want to open the gate? Yes. Oh, this is where that one guy was. Oh, was that him? I think that that's him, isn't it? Yeah. That's that dude that tried to kill me. I don't know, people call him like Dr. K or something. I don't know completely. All right, is it open? Is it open now? There we go. Oh, it's a balcony. Oh, okay. Thought I'd press it off for some reason. So we're going to the ground floor now. I couldn't talk to him. I've seen the map of this building before. If I remember correctly, ahead of us is the main laboratory. One last effort. I can't help but think about how far we've come. I'm excited. All right, let's focus on getting out of here. Come on, human. Wait a minute. Does that door have a password? I don't know. It's too quiet here. I'm feeling nervous. We're now in the main laboratory, the birthplace of all latex animals. Scary. Yeah... There's some photographs. It's a tiny little... Th oh, okay. You've seen many locked doors before. This one is no different. All right. I don't care at this point. I don't even care at this point. I'm just looking up stuff. I don't know how you did it, but I'm proud of you. And I know I can rely on you, human. You had to guess one of the digits, though. Oh, okay, so you had to guess one of them. Put it this way. Oh. Coordinate system 210123. Okay, so this is the room. What? The floor of these rooms may hold the key. Alright, well, I didn't have to do it. So, whatever. I don't feel like trying to figure it out anymore. I can smell white latex. We're close. 
Great, more white latex. That's all I want. Human? You can go ahead. But how will you live after you get out? By comparison, the building has water and electricity and easy ways to get food. Not really. The only problem is that you could be attacked by latex beasts. I'm not trying to persuade you. I just thought of it, that's all. I'm right about you, human. You know what would be abandoned? In fact, I've thought before assimilating you into a later channel so that you could stay with me. You would live, and I would have a friend to talk with. But I can't be so selfish. You have your own goals. But if you trust me and continue to be my friend, I'll show you that I'll be the best companion possible. I'll take you to safety. Because I like you, human. Thanks. What else can I say? You crying? I can sense- Oh, and Dark Lights too. We'll probably run into them soon. Great. Great. A photo shows a group of people boarding a military truck. Everyone looks dead serious. Who are they? It's written in an unfamiliar language. Ooh. All right, let's keep going. Oh, white latex. Great. Eh? They've spread the ground floor. Looks like we'll still have to deal with the white latex. Not only that, but I can also smell my own species down here. Dark latexes. I really don't want to have to face both white latex and my own kind. Take careful look around first. It's really dangerous. Alright, I don't think... Okay. So... I guess we just go. <sighs> I never thought I'd hear this song again. I'll follow you. Please, move quickly. And if you have any trouble, please ask me for help. Okay. So similar to the next room. Wait, what? Pyro is visibly trembling. Turn and use Pyro, and he will throw you forward. That doesn't seem to be what's happening. Oh, God. All right, that didn't work. Shit. All right, well, it seems to be a little bit easier because you can actually throw me. So that's good, at least. All right, let's go. So I'm, I'm reading a walkthrough at this point. I'm reading and watching a walkthrough because I've... <laughs> I've dealt with enough of this game. Shit. I, I'm, I'm done. I'll follow you. Please move your feet. Yeah, I'm 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 absolutely done with this game's bullshit. Eh. Oh come on. That's all kinds of bullshit right there. And I can't I can't run. Oh yes I can. I f I forgot that I could actually run inside here. Oops. <laughs> Okay, I'm just talking to him because basically you need to talk to him or else some story things won't happen. Hi. <sighs> that was close. That was too close. I had no other choice at the time. So I just tossed you over. It's good that you successfully escaped. They completely ignored me and headed straight for you. Sorry, are you okay? Really? Okay. Then I'll throw you when we're surrounded again. That's an easy way. Sure. Watch your step. Oh god. Oh god. And I gotta go through that first room now again. Awesome. So basically I have to go through each room multiple times after I die. Great. That's... The theme of this game, you have to go through every everything before you can actually even think about saving. Love it. Love it. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite. Yeah, because there's no saving here. Which is... 
fall. Okay. Uh, let's go up this time. I don't think he can run. <laughs> Got it. Oh god. Okay. They can still follow you up to that. Now there's dark latex. I must admit that you're really heavy. Wow, this looks like the territory of my kind. I really don't want to face the others of my spe own species. They aren't civilized and won't be too friendly with me either. I may not be able to communicate with them. But I can feel that we're close to the exit. Let's just hurry, though. Just a couple more rooms. Right. All right, I want to make two saves here because I think there's something coming up. Can I talk to you? Don't look at me. I'm different from them. They can speak at all. They can't speak at all. We better think about how to cross this area. I'll try and stop them if necessary. Sounds good. Okay, so these crystals don't change me, but I'm guessing there's going to be some crystals. Okay. I see. Okay. I need to figure out how I'm going to get through this. I don't know how. Okay, I'll just load experience too. I'm watching things. It's going to be easier for me. I'm just following this step by step. Got it. Got it. No, Piero's probably just gonna be able to, yeah, he's, he, he's just walk right through it. This place is different from where I come from. All the crystals here are red, but it probably isn't too different otherwise. Seems like nobody's here. Maybe that's good news. But please don't run into those crystals or else you'll be transferred. Why are you staring at me like that? What? Slippery, really? Don't humans have padding on their feet? None? I had no idea. Seems I haven't learned enough about humans after all, but I, let's move forwards. Sounds good. Okay, there's a save, thank god. What's this stuff on the ground? Curious, I've never seen it before. I don't know. And there's no one here either. Where is everybody? Alright, oh, human doesn't have pods. That makes sense that you said the ground was hard to walk on. Alright, I'm gonna watch more. Because... I'm just trying to get through this game at this point, so I am sorry, everybody. I know you probably want me to figure this out on my own, but at this point, I am done dealing with this game. Again, developer, you have made a good game. Especially if it's your first game. It's just not for me. But I have dedicated way too much time into this to not finish this now. So I am going to see what happens. That's one. That's one. What's happening? You discover that you're trapped. Oh, yeah. Hi. I'm coming to help. I was thinking of letting you pass on your own, but it looks like you... It's too difficult for you. Padless feet are so unreliable, human. Let me help you out. Please don't move. Yeah, how come you didn't do that before? You're so heavy, human. That's it. Don't move. Let me carry you to the exit. Cute. I saw you were very concentrated, slipping and skidding over there, so I didn't bother you. Fortunately, because it's the territory of my kind, I could still be useful. Are you tired, human? It's not safe to rest here. Let's go. Good idea. Oh, safe. And there's more. Awesome. Where are the others? 
Why are there only crystals here? Did they go outside? They are lucky to be born so close to the outside world. Never mind. Have you noticed the floor human? These little, little crystalline spines, they pop up shortly after you step on them. They're extremely sensitive. Be careful, human. Don't fail now. You don't expect me to carry you all the way, do you? Kind of, I mean. All right. Oh, come on. It's just more of the same, really. Oh, come on. There was still all kinds of bullshit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I made it. Oh, good, great, there's no save. You're incredible! Human is totally different from back when you were pursued by the tail. You've really grown. Thanks. Your face looks pale. Are you exhausted? You've done so much. Let's go, we're almost out. I've started shaking. I'm so excited. Great. Human. Thank you. Thank you for your persistence. Thank you for your efforts. Without you, I wouldn't have had the courage to be here. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, whatever. I wish to our last hope. Sacrifice to progress. We will succeed in the end. Yeah, great. We're here. The hall of the ground floor. So is this the lobby? I have dreamed about the outside countless times before I can... So I can't even save. There wasn't even a save. Uh, I can walk out of the building on, on my own paws, but my heart is tranquil as water. I'm confused. Am I dreaming? I don't know. I should be happy. There's a great chance for both of us. I'll leave this little world and go explore a fresh boundless world. And you, human, you've successfully kept your human body, but you're going to survive out there too. However, I'll be with you even outside. I'll follow you forever. Forget about the end of the world. I have you, and you have me. Isn't that the best consolation in such a situation? We won't be alone. I have countless things I want to tell you. I've talked to you a lot tonight, but I've never talked to anyone before. It's hard to believe. Okay, can we get can we get started, please? Tonight I've had a friend. Okay. This has been far more enjoyable. We've had goals. It should be early morning already. Let's get moving. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Is there going to be more? Are you ready? Yep, there he is. Hi. What's up? You gave me such a headache. It's still painful. Yeah, well, you tried to kill me, so, you know, we're even. Bitch. So you're leaving, correct? Is it too late to reconsider? Of course, I couldn't physically stop you if I wanted to. Of course you can't stop us. Now there's two of us. You can't stop us from leaving. We're not going to give up now. Door's right behind us. We can leave at any time. It's probably locked. I won't stop you. Honestly, I simply need to talk to you. Will you listen? I don't know what you're trying to do, but you better not try and trick us again. Hey, nameless human. I still insist on what I said to you. If you leave now, you may cat catastrophize the entire world. What would you do if I'm right? What did you say? How could a human bring catastrophe? He just wants to escape from the building. We've gone through such so many hardships to be here. You can't just stop us just by talking. We don't believe you. Failed sample. Do you remember the original purpose to create you and your species? You were created to stop the disease, and this human is a potential curier. He's plenty alive. I don't believe you. You just want to intimidate him so that he won't go out. A man with such a serious illness wouldn't have such strong will. I have no reason to lie to you. I have no ulterior motives. All right. I already failed before. Neither I nor all my colleagues could save the world. Because of the riot, research facilities were destroyed, samples escaped, treatment plans were ruined. Everything. Only I survived. So where's the rest of humanity? Because I still had a purpose. I am no longer human. But I have been testing and observing the virus. All these years committed to restoring the planet. All on the hope that the next wave of humanity can survive. So the world has a chance to re be rebuilt. Only at that time I could feel relieved. But you, you're a threat to humanity. An unexpected variable. I don't know why I never checked those capsules. Why didn't you? Have you thought about what's out there? 
They are only ruins and dilapidated relics of society. Soci society, groups, family, friends, normal life. All of these are a distant memory. There's nothing left. Then what are you trying to do? It would be very difficult for a regular human to survive. You may be rather fast, but that doesn't mean that your chances to live are high. Is there something out there? You will likely die. He won't, because I'm here. Really? I wasn't aware of just how strong your friendship was. My only impressions of you came from the security footage I'd seen. However, how could a human and a monster live together? Despite your different biology, the relationship between you two is predator and prey. Moreover, a latex won't live long without a host. What would the human do after your death? He would still be alone. His fate still would not change. Piro? It doesn't matter. When I was born, I was the same as the rest of my kid, mindlessly searching for hosts without end. That was my one goal in life. But fate, fate has turned me into the way I am now. I have gained intelligence, learned how to communicate, and discovered my own purpose. I don't need a host now. Not anymore. All I need is someone who can accompany me, talk with me, live with me. I don't care whether it's short-lived or not. I'll have lived a happy life. I've worked so hard, for so long, just on the hope of a better future. If you end up carrying the virus out, what would I do? You and the human? I've overheard you describe him as excellent quite a few times. You remind me of myself. I've desired to be an excellent human, too. You must have greatly wanted to assimilate this human. It's instinctual for you, after all. However, you disobeyed these urges. You choose to befriend him. You've managed to... Okay, come on. It would mean certain death. I just want to live to see the world restored. Soon the humans in the shelter will be able to walk on the earth again. I'll go and contact the elites then. I'll provide all the data I've collected from the surface for all these years and supply resources and energy stored in this building. Humanity will gain their hope. All this will be true before too long. But then you showed up. Even though it's just a possibility, every possibility could induce a fatal outcome. You could spread out the virus. The plan would be terminated, and I'd have to wait for another who knows how many years. How long would I- okay, we get it. Maybe I wouldn't ever be able to see the decom. I've worked so hard. Implementing and implementing. Everything I possibly could, but I still couldn't save anything in the end. And you, the nameless human, what would you do if you escaped- I don't know, we have gone through this already! Apparently staying here might be a better fate, transferred or not. You'll most likely die outside. Your dark latex friend won't take- won't make much difference. Humans are naturally weak creatures. Okay, we get it. You've been babbling for a very long time, dude. Everyone, all of us, have changed nothing at all. We get it. Nothing has changed. I beg of you. You only need to make one little sacrifice. Then everyone will be safe. Please. There's still hope. You can't determine whether this human is carrying the virus, correct? You just said maybe. I'm willing to take that chance. Well, you're not human. What an optimistic latex. You don't think I keep... Th I hope the same thing? But it's the human's decision. What do you think? Humanity's fate depends on you. Make your choice. Stay here or leave. Human, I won't force you. Choose what you want most. Follow your heart. Pyrrha will always support you. Do what you believe is right. Oop. You decided. Okay, so apparently I was supposed to press escape. So it's too hard to decide. That's true. No matter what you choose, it will still bring pain. I've got an idea. Eh? Little guy, are you willing to abandon your humanity? Wait a minute, I know what you're gonna say. You want to transfer this human, right? Doesn't that research say that the consciousness of transferred humans are weakened or even lost? How'd you think I still possessed my consciousness? Though we haven't succeeded in curing humans, we've devised ways to cure other species. 
If the patient is not human, the disease can be cured easily. As long as you're willing to sacrifice, I can provide you with the drug I injected myself with. It's the result of me and my colleagues' research. It allows you to be transferred without altering your brain's structure. After that, treatment will be easy. Once you finish your treatment, you'll be able to leave here with your sample friend. I could even lend you some food and supplies. As long as you can comply. Please. I've racked my brain to think of one last solution. It's all I can do. Please consider carefully. Just a small sacrifice. What do you think, human? Do you trust him? I don't want to believe him. Maybe he's just stalling for time. We don't know anything about this treatment. What if he's trying to harm you? Moreover, human, do you really want to become like us? I won't care how you look, but you'll be changed permanently. So let's forget it. You agree? Really? You are willing? Human, have you thought this out thoroughly? You may never get used to your new body, and you don't even know the risks. This is a method with no takebacks. You'll be changed for life. Switch back. By Cell Dweller. <laughs> have you really decided? I didn't think that you would agree. That's great. Don't laugh now. I won't move an inch from the human if you try and pull anything. I'm gonna... Never mind. Let's start as soon as possible. Since you've decided, we can now begin the treatment. You'll probably be very bored sitting in bed for days with only an IV drip. The failed sample may come with me too. Sorry for attacking you earlier. I had no other choice. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah, call me a failed sample, it's angering me. That's not important, follow me. <laughs> wow, just whatever, you human, I'll keep an eye on him. Piero will be absolute, will absolutely protect you. Don't worry about it. I will follow right behind you. I think I beat the game. I think you've decided to accept the treatment. You lie on the bed comfortably. This is the first chance you've had to get a decent rest in a long time. The needle misses your veins a couple times. The doctor was out of practice. Finally, the needle successfully injects one of your blood vessels. The drug flows into your body drop by drop. Drip by drip, but it matter, but whatever. Next, you only need to wait quietly. Piero is watching you peacefully from the bedside. It's very quiet. The only sounds in the whole room are the subtle drips of the drug. You stare at Piero, stare into his cloudy pupils. You dare should cast! He feels a little bit shy, turning his head to the other side. Time is passing, tick by tick. Sleepiness floods over your mind. You gradually fall asleep. You had a long, long dream. In the dream, you're trying to escape the pursuit of a skullhead figure in panic. You're so scared, running everywhere you can think to hide. So, Piero, there's nobody, no one to help you, nowhere to run. You curl up helplessly on the ground, hoping not to be seen. But you are eventually discovered. Those huge, pale bone claws seize your shorts. Oh, okay, bone claws. And pull them off hard. It's just a dream. How long has it been? Your body feels so heavy. Is it not a dream? This figure has chased you from your dream. Now it's Piro. Piro? Piro! You man is such a sleepy head. You've slept for days. You've made me so worried. You smiled, embarrassed. Your tail is pressed under your butt. It's already feeling numb. Tail? 
Quit lying down. Take a look at your new body. Yep, here we are. So fluffy. It's not uncomfortable. It's different than you expected, but it feels all right. You made it so cute. Pro witnessed you slowly transform. It, it's so wonderful. Have you forgotten anything? Any, any weird impulses? <laughs> weird impulses? Not at all. You're awake. Hey. No allergies. Nor mutations. You're lucky. You're in a cold sweat. Now that you've finished your treatments, everything's fine now. By the way, I managed to find a host for your friend. We had a bio-robot that we originally planned to test viruses with. The bio-robot is almost the same as a regular human, but it was never alive. Therefore, your dark latex friend doesn't need a host anymore. Wow. I've done all I can. Now you two can leave from here. Congratulations. Your treatment was a success. Human. I'm so relieved. Really? You suddenly jumped up from the bed, not used to your strong new legs. You immediately are catapulted to the floor. Heh. <laughs> You're laughing too. You and Pyrrha have left the building. The masked man who calls himself K remained, but promised to help you when in need. You said your goodbyes, came to the hall, and opened the gate. Light fills your eyes. It's sunrise now. Flame red light burns on the horizon. Different from the harsh fluorescent lights that you're used to. It's sunshine, the rising sun. You've seen the sunset before, and you can now witness the sunrise. You and Pyrrha are standing on real soil. You've really done it. Stepping lightly on the green grass, you and your new friend gradually start moving. The tower is slowly being veiled by other ruined buildings bit by bit. Now you can only see the tip of the tower. I wish I could see this. Everything feels so natural, full of life. And safe. You no longer feel nervous. You grasp your latex friend's paw firmly. Neither of you talk, but you both have smiles on your faces. Just walking in the direction of the rising sun, walking on and on. You've walked a long way. The shape of the tower becomes vague. Where is this going? You can't tell how long you've been walking. You can't see the tower anymore. Surrounding buildings are still broken, but determined plants entwine the rebar, growing wildly. You stop for a second. Pero notices. You aren't used to your new body. These strong legs can easily step too far. You've tripped many times on the road. You're feeling tired now. How are you tired? Don't push yourself. There's a rock over there. Let's go and take a rest. Come on, lean on me. <sighs> We've succeeded. The world is so beautiful, even though it's destroyed. I finally experienced it. I've fulfilled my dream. It's all thanks to you, human. It's so brilliant. Being with a friend is such a happiness. I can't see any more rocks or rubble from here. I only see the roundness of the rising sun. It's so bright. This feels completely different from the feeling from the balcony of the tower. This time I have my paw standing firmly on the earth. I got it. We're, we're, we're outside. I got it. I'm so happy, Piero. What was that? Me talking or Piero? I think that's it.
<sighs> Anything else, or is that just the end? Okay, credits. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. That can just happen. <laughs> oh, you can see all the transformations. Okay, I'm gonna say this. The... How difficult the game was, was my fault. I decided to play this game at 1am, and there was a lot of different easier ways to get through these things. A lot of it was still kind of bullshit, but it was still a lot my fault. Oh uh, yeah, there's that. For some, there's, for, for some reason, just sex right there. But yeah. It was a good- okay, developer, it was a good game. I will say that. This was a good game, especially if it was your first game. I congratulate you on that. It obviously just wasn't for me, and... Please don't listen to any of the things I said. This, you're a good game developer. This was good. It had an interesting story. Interesting game mechanics. I just didn't have the patience for this kind of game. Obviously. But it was good. So... I'll leave that there. This was a very good game. It's kind of funny you can see all the transformations. Shark. Squid dog. Fuck you, squid dog. The end. Ah, oh, these are all the photos, I guess. Yeah, these are all the different photos. These are the other characters. So obviously there was a lot of sexual stuff in this game, which I actually was not expecting at all. It was definitely interesting. But, like I said, it was... It was a decent game. It just was not for me. Oh, is this... These are all the deaths. Oh, was that Pura right there? Is that supposed to be Pura, or who is that? Alright. Oh, it's all the... These are like all the deaths. Or this like every cut. What was that? Wait. What's that all about? Alex. Alright. Huh. That must be some kind of death you get. Alright, saw that. So is that it? Is it? Am I just done? Or is there like a way out? I'm not sure. There was a the end. Or is that just it? Do I just end here? Alright, I'm gonna assume that it, it just ends here. Alright. So again, like I said, developer, you made a good game. I don't even know if you're gonna be watching this. It's not for me, but by the time I decided that I didn't want to be playing this game anymore, I was so into the game. I, I had dedicated so much time and effort into this game that I just wanted to beat it. I just wanted to have a, have a full playthrough on my channel. And yeah, I want to hate this game, but it's a good game. It has an interesting story, interesting mechanics. The characters are cute and all that stuff. The, the sexual stuff I wasn't definitely expecting, but there wasn't too much of it. It was a good game. It definitely was not for me. So, yeah. Um, you can buy this game on Steam, $6. Uh, if you want to play this game for yourself, maybe there's stuff I missed. There's apparently three different endings. I got the good ending. I specifically 
tried for the good ending. I was looking up walkthroughs and stuff. So yeah. That was changed. This is going to be a bitch to edit. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry this is the only video today. Stay nerdy.